The MPI Stutter app supports modifying phonation interval or MPI stuttering therapy. It monitors your vocal fold activity and displays your phonated intervals. Phonated intervals are the times that your vocal folds vibrate to, produ to produce vowels and voiced consonants delineated by pauses and voiceless consonants. When you stutter, you see short red, orange, or yellow bars. In the rest of this video, when I say red bars, I mean red, orange, or yellow bars. When you speak abnormally slowly, you see blue or purple bars. When you speak fluently at a normal speaking rate, green bars appear. You can't consciously produce green bars because your brain can't control your vocal folds that fast. But if you relax your breathing and relax your vocal folds, then the green bars appear. The main window displays the last four seconds of your speech. The histogram above the main window displays the last 10 minutes of your speech. The goal is to make the green bars tall and the red bars short. A published study of MPI stuttering therapy found that after two to three hours per day, for two to three weeks, all of the subjects had near zero stuttering. Speaking tasks included making telephone calls to local businesses, which is a stressful speaking situation. All of the subjects maintained this fluency for a year afterwards. The interesting part was that after the speech-language pathologist trained the stutterers to use the software, they used the computers on their own without the SLPs. This makes MPI stuttering therapy ideal for, speech th for therapy practice outside the speech clinic. Another study of MPI stuttering therapy found that of 12 subjects, 8 had zero stuttering. The study found that these 8 stutterers had increased activity in the putamen area of their brains. The putamen is used for motor learning and is associated with vocal fold activity. MPI stuttering therapy is easy to do. All you need to do is to make the green bars tall and the red bars short. Blue and purple bars can be tall or short, they don't matter. If you're unable to get the green bars tall, go to a speech clinic that does fluency shaping therapy. This is the most widely practiced stuttering therapy. A clinician can train you to slow down your speech by stretching vowels. This will produce purple intervals. Then the clinician will train you to relax your breathing. When your speech is relaxed and slow, work on talking a little faster while staying relaxed. You'll see green bars start to appear. It's impossible to, to produce 100% green bars. Normal speech has a normal distribution of phonation, phonated intervals, with some red bars, lots of green bars, and some blue and purple bars. As I said, your brain can't consciously control your vocal folds fast enough to make all green intervals. Just work on getting more green bars than red bars. A speech-language pathologist can use MPI stutter in school with a child. Then if the parents ask what can they do at home, the speech-language pathologist can recommend MPI stutter. The most important factor in treating childhood stuttering is getting the parents involved. A large study in Australia found that parents are more effective therapy prov providers than speech-language pathologists. This makes sense as the parents can do 20 to 30 minutes of speech therapy once or twice a day when school speech-language pathologists typically see a child for only 20 minutes twice a week. The study in Australia also compared electromyographic, or EMG, biofeedback to fluency-shaping speech therapy. The results found that EMG biofeedback computers were more effective than fluency-shaping therapy without the computers. EMG computers are difficult and expensive to set up, with electrodes taped all over the child's throat and face. MPI stuttering result therapy was developed as an alternative to EMG stuttering therapy, and it achieves similar results with simpler, less expensive technology. So, 
With MPI Stutter, a child can learn to use the app in school with a speech-language pathologist. Then the parents can buy the app and the child can do therapy at home every day. The parents, n parents don't need to know anything about stuttering except to have the child sit down once or twice a day to practice. And then the parents reward the child when he or she gets the green bars tall and the red bars short. For a high school student, the speech-language pathologist could arrange for the student to use MPI Stutter on the school's iPad during his study hall periods on the days that he doesn't see his speech-language pathologist. Adults can learn to use MPI Stutter in a speech clinic and then use the app for home practice without their speech therapist. MPI Stutter has extra features for adult stutterers to use the app in their daily lives. This is especially important if the person stutters mostly in stressful situations and is mostly fluent at home. The stutterers can bring his or her iPhone to use MPI Stutter in stressful sit situations as if his speech-language pathologist were with him or her. One of the extra features for adults is delayed auditory feedback. With DAF, you hear your voice in your headphones delayed a fraction of a second. This increases fluency and vocal control and can also help a stutterer to slow down. With MPI stutter, the red bars switch on delayed auditory feedback and the green and blue bars switch off the DAF. If you start to stutter, the app switches on DAF to make you fluent and when you're talking fluently, it switches the DAF off. The auditory feedback allows you to use MPI stutter in conversations without watching the screen. You won't hear the DAF when you're talking fluently or when you're not talking. The cumulative screen shows your total talking time for the day and the percent of two short intervals. Your goal is to increase your talking time every day while decreasing the percentage of two short intervals. The evaluation screen measures your speaking rate and phonated intervals. The help screen has instructions. On the settings screen, you can adjust the microphone gain. If you set the microphone gain too high, the black line representing vocal volume hits the top of the screen. If you set the microphone gain too low, then the black line representing vocal volume barely moves above the bottom of the screen. You want to adjust the microphone gain so that the black line representing vocal volume moves the full height of the main window without touching the top. The cutoff timing should be 30 milliseconds if you, you use the accelerometer and 50 milliseconds for all other microphones. The 50 millisecond setting eliminates false positives. In other words, microphone artifacts such as rapid inhalation or vocal fry that produce red, orange, or yellow phonated intervals when you're not talking. Delay length. Delay length sets the DAF length. Uh, you can adjust the DAF to to never switch on, to never switch off, or to switch on only when you produce red, orange, or yellow intervals. Next, you can adjust how long the DAF stays on. I will explain the analysis time period in a moment. Now, the minimum phonated interval duration. Start with 75 milliseconds, the easiest setting. When you can easily produce the green in intervals and not produce red intervals, change this to 100 uh, milliseconds. If this becomes too easy for you, you can then advance to 125 milliseconds. And then 150 milliseconds is the most difficult setting. The last setting is for how many red intervals are required to switch on delayed auditory feedback set this in combination with the analysis time. The, the default setting is two red intervals in two seconds. You can increase this to three or four red intervals in one second to make therapy easier, 
or reduce it to one interval in four seconds to make therapy harder.